This video will explain the CPS panel component and introduce a tool to help visualize possibilities for longitudinal analysis using the CPS. The Current Population Survey is a household survey that is fielded every month. In addition to being useful for cross-sectional analysis, the CPS has a panel component that makes longitudinal analysis possible. A household, let's call it A, enters the survey and is surveyed for four consecutive months. This household is then not surveyed for the next eight months. Household A then re-enters the survey for the next four months, after which the household exits the survey for good. A household's position in this rotation pattern is indicated by the variable month and sample. New households enter and already surveyed households exit the CPS every month. Therefore, each month of the current population survey contains households at every stage of the panel rotation, that is, with every value of month and sample. Cohorts can link across months. As you can see, cohort A from January can link to cohort A in February, and cohort B in February can link to cohort B in March. However, the panel rotation pattern has important implications for which months are linkable and linkage rates between linkable samples. To illustrate, let's choose January of year X as our focal month. Cohorts in month and sample 1 through 3 in January of year X, and cohorts in month and sample 5 through 7 in January of year X, can be linked to February of year X. However, cohorts X and XX in January of year X cannot be linked to February of year X, as cohort X begins the eight-month break, and cohort XX exits the survey for good. Thus, even in adjacent months, only 75% of the records from the focal month will link across months. When we link January to March of year X, only half of the cohorts appear in both months. If we link January to April of year X, only two of eight cohorts overlap. Notice that cohort A does not appear in year X after April. Cohort A is thus not linkable to months May through December of year X. The next possible months to which cohort A can be linked is January of year X plus 1. Understanding which months can and cannot link, and how big the resulting linked sample will be, is important for knowing what information can and cannot be combined in the CPS. IPM CPS has created a tool to help researchers visualize the possibilities for leveraging the panel structure to combine information from different months of the CPS. Clicking on a sample will display all samples that contain cohorts also found in the selected sample. The percentage of households expected to link to these samples is also displayed. The drop-down menu allows you to restrict the visualization to persons entering the CPS in the selected month, or finishing the rotation pattern in the selected month. Suppose I want to combine information from the 2014 ASEC sample with information from the volunteer supplement. Here we can quickly see that the ASEC and the volunteer supplements cannot be linked. However, the 2014 ASEC can be linked to the 2013 food security supplement. Approximately 25% of the households in the 2014 ASEC should link back to the food security supplement. We hope you enjoy using IPM CPS data.